Hi guys, welcome back to Linux Bennett channel. Let's look at a geometric sequence. All right, so basically it's not very hard. A lot of people find a lot of problem with it, but it's very easy. So what for geometric sequence, um, we can be asked to find the nth term. For example, this is be considered the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. All right, so it's a sequence and we can ask to find, for example, the 10th term or the 100th term, all right? So this is how it is done. So we work with this formula, which says a to the n, and this n represents the number or term that we're looking for. But what is a? So a represents the first term. So that's why I put that in n. We have what we call r, and r is the common ratio to find the common ratio is just basically the second r the term the, ter the, the, the nth term divided by the previous term for example we can have the third term divided by the second or the fourth by the third or the second by the first so that's how we get r and then we have, of course, n minus 1. And n minus 1 represent the term that we're looking for. So let us put things in perspective. This is just the formula. Let us say we were asked. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us say we are asked to find the fifth term. So we write a to the fifth because the fifth term, right? Now, we basically have a, which is our starting point. So that would be 2 r let's find the common ratio r so r would be 8 divided by 2 so the common ratio would be 4 so what we do we put 4 of course this is times and then n minus 1 so n will be the fifth term so minus 1 so it would be 5 take away 1 which is to the fourth and of course we know what the bundles rule says we have to do the poor part first so what we do, we do 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. And then we times all of this by 2. And that should give us the fifth term. So let us get a calculator. Oh Lord, where's my calculator? All right, so my calculator gives me 256. So this works out to 256. And then we multiply by 2, uh, which gives us 512. So the next term would be 512. All right, let us find one of these that are, is already there using the formula. Let's say we're going to find the fourth term. So that should work out to 128. Let's put things in perspective. All right, so we already know what the answer should be. It should work out to 128. Let's test it. So it would be A. The common ratio r to the n minus 1 and of course put things in perspective a would be 2 because that's the starting point so it's 2 multiplied by r the common ratio we got was 4 so it would be 4 to the n minus 1 so 4 minus 1 would give us 3 4 times 4 times 4 I will multiply that by the 2 when we are finished. Because remember, we have to do the power part first. 4, 4, 16. That gives us 64. And then we multiply 2 times 64, which is equal to 128. Of course, we know that the fourth term would have been 128, but just to for practice. All right? So I want you guys to put this in the comment section. What would be a 6? What would be the sixth term in that sequence? Then I'll explain it tomorrow, no doubt. I'll see you guys in another video.